In this video, I am going to show you how to differentiate a function using product rule. If you have a function na binubuo ng dalawa pang function na magkaiba and are both functions are differentiables, ganito yung formula. So the derivative of f of x times g of x is equal to the f prime of x times g of x plus f of x times g prime of x. The f prime of x is the derivative of the first function and the g prime of x is the derivative of the second function. Ganito siya. If you have a whole function, example 1, we have a y whole function which is equal to 3x plus 5 multiplied to x squared. So this whole y function is actually composed of two unique functions. Now both are differentiable. So ang first function dyan ay si 3x plus 5. Ang second function dyan ay si x squared. Na pwede rin naman magkabaliktaran kahit sino ang first function dyan or second function. Okay lang yun. So there are actually two solutions how to, to solve or to get the derivative of this y. Um, una is to use the, the product rule or pangalawang solution. We can multiply these two functions first then get uh, then apply the, the sum or uh, difference rule. Sum kapag addition. Difference kapag subtraction yung symbol. Okay, so ganito siya. Ang solution 1 applying the product rule. Identify kung sino ang first and second function. Pwede yung magkabaliktaran. So in this example, I, I say na ang first, ang first function ko ay si 3x plus 5 ito. Kaya sinulat ko ang f of x is equal to 3x plus 5. Now, ang second function ko ay si x squared. Next, kung gagawin ay kuhanan ko muna ng derivative ang dalawang function. Ang derivative ng f of x na itong 3x plus 5 Using applying the constant rule at saka constant multiple rule, ang derivative ng 3x ay 3, ang derivative ng 5 ay 0. So therefore, 3 plus 0 is just 3. So ang f prime of x ko ay 3. Next naman kung gagawin ay derivative ni g of x. Ang derivative ni x squared ay 2x. Therefore, ang g prime of x ko ay 2x. Now, gagamitin ko na itong mga to para magamit ma doon sa product rule. Ang product rule ay ulit ay f prime of x times g of x plus f of x times g prime of x. Now, ipasok ko lang ngayon kung sino yung aking f prime of x. Ang f prime of x ko ay si 3. So, that's why I, I wrote down 3. Ito yun, si 3. That's the f prime of x. Now, g, the g of x, the second function is x squared. That's the second function. Now, the first function, the f of x is 3x plus 5. I will write that whole uh, expression, 3x plus 5. So, I, I will write that down. 3x plus 5. The g prime of x or the derivative of the second function is 2x. Sinulat ko yan. Now, multiply ko na sila. So, 3 times x squared is 3x squared. Plus, 3x times, um, so 3x times 2x is equal to 6x squared. Positive 5 times 2x is positive 10x. So, meron akong similar terms. Pag combine ko sila, meron akong 3x squared, meron akong 6x squared. Ang sum niyan ay 9x squared. Wala akong kaparehan na 10x squared, kaya kinop kinopya ko lang siya. Therefore, my answer is 9x squared plus 10x. And that is the final answer. That's the derivative of 3x plus 5 multiplied sa x squared. Now, the other way to solve this uh, given, this problem, to get the, the y prime, so this is the y prime ha, kasi y nag-umpisa yung ating function. So I use y prime. Okay, so the other way to solve that is first, ipag-multiply ko muna ito, itong dalawa. So i-multiply ko muna si x squared dito sa 3x, tapos i-multiply ko rin siya kay 5. So gagawin ko yun, yun yung isang paraan. So by multiplying x squared times 3x, th that gives me 3x cubed. Kasi 3 times 1 is 3, x times x squared is x cubed. Okay? Now, 3 times, uh, fa positive 5 times x squared is positive 5x squared. Okay, ito na po yung product niyan. Now, I have two terms. I have a uh, binomial expression. So, ibig sabihin, pwede ko siyang i-apply ang pagkuha ng derivative using some rule. Kasi addition naman yung nakikita kong symbol plus. So, the derivative of the first function and the derivative of the second function, ipag-add yun, yun yung sagot. Ganito. The derivative of 3x plus uh, 3x cubed plus 5x squared is just equal to the derivative of 3x squared, 3x cubed brother, plus the derivative of the 5x squared. Pinaghiwalay lang po itong dalawa. Pinaghiwalay lang sila. 
Okay? So, ganyan po. Recall sa sum rule. Now, the derivative of 3x cubed applying the constant multiple rule multiply the const the the uh, the exponent to the coefficients so ibig sabihin 3 times 3 equals 9 then subtract 1 from the exponent that gives us that becomes 3 minus 2 that becomes a uh, 3 minus 1 becomes 2 so therefore 3 times 3 is 9 bawasan ng isang exponent becomes 2 na lang Right? Now, this one. The derivative of 5 time, uh, five x squared multiplies the exponent kay co coefficient 2 times 5 is 10. The derivative of x squared, bawasan lang ng isa ang exponent, so magiging 1. It's just simply x. And that's the final answer. And they are equal. They are equal. And this is the y prime. Okay? So, pwede, pwede mong gamitin itong product rule or pwede mo ring i-apply mo na ang pag-multiply ng dalawang function, saka mo gamitan ng difference rule or sum rule. Okay? Another example tayo. Get the, find the derivative of, or find the y prime of 5x squared plus 6 multiplied to 2x. Yan. In this example, sa pag-solve ko, pwede kong gamitin yung product rule, pwede ko rin gamitin yung sum rule. Na i-multiply mo na sila bago ko apply yung sum rule. But this time, gagamitin ko yung product rule muna. So, ang first function ko ay si 5x squared plus 6. Ang second function ko, ito yung f of x ko, ito yung g of x ko. So, ang second function ko ay si 2x. Kuhanan muna ng derivative ang f of x, pati si g of x. Ang derivative ng 5x squared, so 2 times 5 is 10. Bawasan ng isang exponent becomes 1 na lang. So, 5, uh, 5 times 10, uh, 5 times 2 is 10. Derivative ng x squared ay just, uh, derivative, uh, ang bawasan ng isang exponent, maging 1 na lang. Right? Derivative ng constant kasi is 0. Wala nang sa isa yan. So, 10x na lang ang derivative ng buong expression na 5x squared plus 6. Derivative ni 2x is just 2. ba? Kasi bawasan ng isa yung exponent dito, mawawala na, maging 0. So, x raised to 0 is 1. So, 2 times 1 is just 2. Okay? Now, alam ko na ang derivative ng mga first and second functions ko. Ngayon, apply ko na sa derivative, sa product rule. Ang product rule, ang derivative ng f of x times g of x is this. f prime of x times g of x plus f of x times g prime of x. Ganito lang yan. Pasok mo lang kung sino yung f prime of x. Pinasok ko. Sino ang g of x? Nilagay ko rin. Ito si 2x. Si f of x ko, ito buong expression na to, 5x squared plus 6. Si g, of, g prime of x ko ay si 2. Therefore, pinasok ko lang. Right? Now, multiplying this, 10x times 2x is just 20x squared. 10 times 2 is 20, x times x is x squared. Right? Next, um, 2 times 5 is 10. Copy lang yung variable, x squared. So, ten, uh, again, two, ta 2 times 5x squared is 10x squared. Ito po yan. 2 times 6 is just 12. Ito po yan. Combining like terms, kung meron, meron naman, di ba? Ito, 20 plus 10x squared, 20x squared plus 10x squared is 30x squared. Tapos, copy na lang si 12. Therefore, ang y prime ko or the derivative of y is 30x squared plus 12. Okay? Pwede rin yung, ay, multiply mo na to, tapos kuha na ng, apply yan ng sum rule. Now, another example, number 3. 10x multiplied to, y is equal to 10x multiplied to 3x squared minus 2x. Gamitan ko ng product rule. First, identify ko kung sino first function at sino second function. First function ko si ito, 10x. Second function ko ito, 3x squared minus 2x. Ang derivative ng 10x ay 10. Ang derivative nito, ang g prime of x ko, ang derivative ng 3x squared, multiply ko lang to si 2 dito, 3, 2 times 3 becomes 6, tapos bawasan ng isang exponent becomes 6x na lang. Tapos ang derivative ng 2x ay, ang derivative ng negative 2x ay negative 2. Okay? Now, applying the, pro, using the, applying the product rule, so pasok-pasok ko lang kung sino ang f prime of x. So ang f prime of x ko kasi ay si 10, so pinasok ko yan. Ang g of x ko ito, itong buong mahabang expression, so pinasok ko lang. Ang f of x ko si 10x, kaya pinasok ko rin. Tapos, ang g prime of x ko, ito. Itong buo. Buong expression. Kasi sinulat ko. Multiply 10 to 30, 10 times 3x squared becomes 30x squared. 
Multiply ko si 10 times negative 2x becomes 20x. Ito po yan, negative 20x. Now next, multiply ko si 10 times, uh, 10x times 6x becomes 60x squared. Right? 10 times negative, 10x times negative 2 becomes negative 20x. Okay? Combining like terms, combine, uh, combine ko si 30 at saka si 60x squared. Para silang may x squared. Para silang similar terms. So 30 plus 60 equals 90x squared. Combine ko rin itong pareha ng terms. Negative 20 and plus negative 20 becomes negative 40x. Therefore, ang y prime ko ay 90x squared minus 40x. That's the final answer. Now, uh, pwede kong pa-exin yung formula. Ganito na lang. Wala na yung mga x. And yung mga f x, di ba? So, yan. You can try this on your own. You can pause the video and try this on your own. We have the first function f. Ito yung first function. First function ay... Um, ito. Ito naman yung second function. Sabihin ko na lang na f yan, saka g yan. Second function. Now, applying the different the product rule, ito. f prime times g plus f times g prime. So, ang f prime ko, ang derivative kasi nito, ang derivative ng f prime, uh, ang derivative nitong first, yung f ko ay 1 lang. Kasi derivative ng x ay 1. Derivative kasi ng 1 ay 0. So, wala na yung size yun. So, 1 na lang. Now, multiplying sa, sa ito. Ano ang g ko? Ito siya. Kaya kinopya ko yan. Okay? So, ito yung f ko. F prime ko, ito yung g. Plus, ito yung f ko, ito yung g prime ko. Ang, ang f ko kasi, x plus 1. Tapos, ang g prime ko, g prime ko, ang derivative ng x squared ay 2x. Ang derivative ng negative 1 ay 0. Kaya, 2x na lang ang natira. Okay? Yan yung g prime. Kasi, derivative ng x squared ay 2x. Ito po yan. Now, simplifying, what is 1 times x squared? That, become, that gives me 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Next, 2x times x it becomes 2x squared. Ito po yun. 1 times 2x is 2x. Combining similar terms, mayroon ako magkapareha. Si x squared, isang, isang x squared, tapos dalawang x squared. O di, tatlong x squared na yun. Tapos, mayroon akong iisang 2x lang. Kinopya ko lang yan. Tapos, meron akong isang constant na negative 1. Kinopya ko lang. So, the final answer, the y prime is 3x, 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. That's the final answer. Now, try this example on your own. Pause the video. And um, if you try that one, you will get the final answer of y prime is equal to negative 24x squared plus 4x plus 15. If you have any questions, message me privately or comment on this video.